In this video, you are going to learn how to find out the number of concrete blocks required to build a wall. Learning how to find out the number of blocks required is a powerful skill that you should know so as to keep within the planned budget for the entire project. In this video, I explain to you how to master finding out the number of blocks required to build a wall and you will see how you can know exactly how many blocks you need for the entire project. First, I'll start by explaining what a block means. A block is a building material used to build walls, primarily made of stone dust mixed with cement. Concrete blocks are either solid blocks or hollow blocks. Solid blocks are stronger and heavier and with no hollow cores running through it used for load bearing applications. Whereas hollow blocks are lighter and with a hollow core used for non-load bearing walls. For example, solid blocks can be used in the foundation below the ground beam as a load-bearing wall, whereas hollow blocks can be used above the ground such as partition walls to separate one room from another, which are non-load-bearing walls. This brings us to the question, how many blocks do I need to build a wall? And this can be done in three easy steps. Step 1 is to find the volume of the wall. Step 2 is to find the volume of one block with mortar and step 3 is to find the number of blocks required which is simply the volume of the wall divided by the volume of one block with mortar. Step 1. Considering a wall of 10 meters along the length, 3 meters along the height and 200 millimeters wall thickness, this simply means that the volume of this wall is 6 meters cubed or 6 cubic meters. Step 2. Considering a block of 400 mm along its length, 200 mm along the width or wall thickness and 200 mm height. Practically, when a block is in a wall, mortar is added at the bottom and in the sides, meaning the measurements that increase are the length and the height. The width doesn't increase because there is no mortar added here and here, it's only added here and here. Considering mortar thickness of 15 mm, the standard should be 10 mm but this sometimes becomes difficult to maintain by mansions and can even go up to 20 mm. Therefore, for our example here, let's consider mortar thickness of 15 mm. The length increases by 15 mm to get 415 mm. The height increases by 15 mm to get 215 mm and the width remains the same that is 200 mm. Therefore, the volume of this block with mortar comes this figure here. Step 3. The number of blocks required to build a wall is equal to volume of the wall divided by volume of one block with mortar. When we feed in our figures here, we get 336.229 which is equivalent to 337 blocks. Therefore, for a wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along the height, you need 337 blocks. To put this into square meters, 10 multiplied by 3 is equal to 30 square meters. For a 30 square meters wall, you need 337 blocks, which simply means that for one square meter, you need 11.2 blocks. This answer only covers the exact number of blocks required to build a wall. On top of this figure, you can add 5 to 10% allowance for breakages that may arise. When you want to know the exact number of blocks required to build your house, you work out each wall separately just the same way we have worked on this wall. Then later deduct openings such as doors and windows. That's all about finding out the number of blocks required to build a wall. I hope you get something from it. In case this video was helpful to you in any way, kindly hit that subscribe button. I would really really appreciate. Watch this next video about how to calculate the number of cement bags required to cast concrete.